Where are you from? I'm from Amsterdam. Amazing. I want to go to Amsterdam so bad. And we're also going to hear about some of the things that Hannah didn't put on the tapes. It's been a very cool thing to feel so connected to so many people. Um, well, congratulations on season two. Thank you. Great job on getting renewed. I can imagine it's complicated getting renewed uh, off a show that's based off a book. So how did you go about doing season one based off the book and then well, I think, you know, towards two. the end of season one, we all sort of took stock and we said to ourselves, actors, writers, Netflix, Paramount, we said, you know, there's more story to tell. We want to know what happens to these kids. What happens next? And that was really the key to it was, was there more story? And we really, we really felt that there was. Could you give us a little bit about what the story is going to be? Sure. Well, you know, season two picks up about six months later mm -hmm. and we see these kids, you know, have, you know, moved along in their lives. But what happens is the trial starts. The trial, oh. Hannah Baker's parents suing the school district. And all of these kids are called to testify. And they're going to have to decide if they're going to tell the truth about what happened between them and Hannah. That's very so interesting. So all those feelings come rushing back. We're going to see some of the events from season one from a different point of view. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to hear about some of the things that Hannah didn't put on the tapes. So there are some surprises oh. there. Obviously, season one uh, has helped a lot of people, but there was also a lot of negative backlash about it. How do you feel about that? Like, how do you... Well, when we were making season one, we knew we were making something that was very bold, that was telling the truth in a very unflinching way, and we knew mm -hmm. that that was going to cause a lot of conversation. The show was watched by so many people, so the conversation was very loud. But at the end of the day, we were very glad that it happened. Those who were supportive of the show, those who took issue with the show, we welcomed all of that conversation because people were talking about these issues and talking about what was right and how they felt um, in a way that maybe they hadn't been before. Okay, that's perfect. Well, th thank you so much. Yeah, that's for sure. Nice. Thank you. Great thank meeting you. Thank you so you. much for talking to me. Yeah. Thanks. Well, first of all, congratulations, guys. Season two. Thanks. Thank you. Did you expect to be renewed? I think we knew it was a possibility. I mean, it was it was definitely um, like discussed throughout season one that there was. Mm there was a uh, potential for it to, to continue. Yeah, how was that for you? Because obviously we know, we know what happens at the end of season one. Did you expect to come back? Which is kind of a strange situation when you die. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, it was interesting, you know, because I, I feel like there was so much investment and thought that went into season one. And, um, you know, for me as well, just telling her story in such a full capacity, I was really interested to see how they were gonna, or how Hannah was sort of, um, be a part of season two. Ultimately, you know, this season, there is so much focus as there should be on, on the storylines of other characters, you know? And I think that ultimately is, is the really important part about season two is continuing the dialogue and showing healing and showing recovery and continuing the story because um, their, their lives don't stop after Hannah and, and that is, you know, as sad as, as it is, that, that's a reality. So I think it was important to be able to um, continue and to show that. I was bullied as a child and I know that a lot of people watching have been as well. Do you mm -hmm. have a message for them like how to deal with that or do you have any experiences like that yourself? I'm, I'm Go feel for like it. I want to answer jump, that. Jump on it. I think it's, it's hard to give like one sound piece of advice because everyone is different and everyone is going through their own things but you know access that we now have to social media and, and communities that are so far away from us but communities that you can have online with people hopefully that can help also make people not feel so alone i think that's one of the biggest things growing up is is feeling alone and feeling like you're the only one going through what you're going through so i would say if i could offer one one piece of advice not as an expert but just as a person is to know that you're you're not alone well thank you guys so much for yeah. talking to hey. me today congratulations on season two thank you what can we expect from your character in season two it picks up with uh, jessica's road to recovery really you'll just see her really coming to terms with her trauma head on and how she deals with it. Seeing as there was so much like heavy stuff going on, mm -hmm. were there a lot of moments that you remember on set that were very fun? Like, do you have a fun memory that you'd like to share? Yes. Like the most fun scene that you shot or whatever? Um, I can't say a fun scene from the second season, but being on set is always fun because the cast and, and everyone's very, very close with the crew and the cast. It just feels like I'm hanging out with my family every day. Season one had a lot of you know, had a lot of people talking about it, mm -hmm. uh, very positively, but also very negatively. Like, how did you deal with that? I really didn't pay attention to the headlines, because mm -hmm. like, I'm just an actor, but um, on the show, and I didn't want like articles to uh, change the way I think of the role or anything. But I mean, I wasn't surprised. We were tackling really important and tough uh, 
subjects head on and very truthfully, yeah, I feel definitely. like. And I knew that they're sensitive, so people were going to have opposing opinions. And did you have anyone in your life come up to you and say, wow, this show has helped me? Does yeah. anyone, anything stick with you from experiences Yeah, experience like I mean, that? like family members and friends and people I know to fans that I've met on the street have said that the show resonated with them. And then Jessica's storyline specifically, they felt like they could really, really relate to. So yeah, it's been it's been a very cool thing to feel so connected to so many people. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much, you. and good luck on the release of season two. Thank you so much. And, uh, so nice I'm sure to it's going to be great. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you.